Hey y'all! Today's video is going to be a huge unboxing of this gigantic deluxe fashion play set with a Barbie and a Ken doll as well as tons of fashions and accessories. I got this one off of Smith's Toys. It seems like that this set is a Smith's Toys exclusive here in Europe. It cost me a total of 49 euros and 99 cents. And if you take into account that you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total fashion packs with accessories and shoes and two cute if not a little basic dolls and each fashion pack costs around seven to eight euros here in Europe. It's a steal. Now when pictures of this one arrived into the internet, the internet was kind of like buzzing about how we finally get some cute fashions for Barbie these days, especially modern Playland Barbie. So I'm curious to know if the fabric construction holds up on these items, if these items are cute on the dolls, and whether or not this whole set is worth the price of admission. So let's take a look at the whole set first and the packaging as well as the way the dots and the fashions are presented here. So we have this cute illustration of both Barbie and Ken in their first outfits that they're wearing when they're presented here in the box. And you can see them wear the same outfits on the side of the box in a different pose. The way the scenery is lit seems like it's at dusk and at night, so these are probably the party outfits. And the bottom of the box has the barcode here, as well as the production code next to it, which is HKB10. And you can see the production date of 2022. Now, the back of the box has the promo pictures that we're all familiar with, with these two dolls in their different outfits. Before we get into it, I already have some thoughts because the item that I was most excited about were these bell bottom pants. And looking at them, this is just a piece of stretch fabric with an elastic on top. Now the promotional image, the way the garment is constructed here, looks like it's a way more thick denim like fabric. I have no idea if you're able to pull the effect off with this piece of stretch. Maybe if you iron it flat and douse it in starch, you're able to Pull off the bell bottom effect. Before I throw the packaging away, let's take a final look at the scenery that was behind the dots and the fashion items. As you can see, it's kind of like a runway at dusk, right before these are hitting the dance floor at a club, it seems. It's very Miami Vice, and it's cute. I love the little Barbie logo here. I guess those are the Barbie headquarters. And before I throw these two dots away, Let's take a quick look at these two as well. Now this can, he does seem to be able to pivot his head, but his arms don't go outward. So his articulation is very basic. It's almost like the beach can articulation. He's cute. I don't have a lot of can dots. Most of mine are vintage but I don't really have a use for him. There's basically no reason for me to keep him, so I'm sorry, but off you go. Now let's take a look at Millie doll. She's just a standard Millie. Her face does have some pixelation. There's a scuff mark here, so there's some dirt that I need to rub off. She has a side part, platinum hair. I try to kind of style it, but it ends up looking just like a rat's nest. She's got the standard articulation and the standard body with heeled feet and straight arms. Now let's take a look at all of the fabric items that Barbie comes with. 
The outfit she wears in box is this pink cute party dress. It's glittery, it's shiny, it does have straps at the top and these roughly two bits that are kind of like her sleeves and it doesn't have any kind of velcro. It's just stretch fabric that slides over the body of the doll. Then she also has this cute little bathing suit. It's got this turquoise color with some pink tropical flowers all over it and it velcros on the back. And then she has this two-piece blazer and skirt. The blazer is made of this thicker material. This is the type of material that I wished that the bell bottom pants would have had. And then this leopard print, neon green and pink purplish skirt. It just has an elastic at the top. Now this skirt kind of reminds me of a skirt from the Fashionistas era. This is the aforementioned Fashionistas era skirt that I was talking about. I think it's worn by a Barbie in a two set. Then we have the bell bottoms, the ones that are disappointing in my eyes, though I haven't put them on the doll, so who knows, maybe they're gonna look cute on the doll. Now we have this top. Now this is really cute. It's just a white top with this stenciled heart in the front, the Velcros in the back, and then we have this stiff, satiny, purple flower dress. And this dress looks very Steffi Love. It reminds me of a recent Steffi Love that's got released. And this one, Velcros in front. Now let's take a quick look at the plastic accessories that Bobby has. One of them is this teal colored bomb bag. Then she's got this simple black purse with a diamond shape in the front that's molded onto it. She has this pearl statement necklace and another yellow transparent statement necklace that says love. A pair of pink booty shoes. Another pair of strappy silver heels. And my personal favorite pair of shoes that she comes with are these chunky white heels. And of course, Millie herself wears a pair of hoop earrings. And these are not removable, unless you were to douse her head in hot water so it would get more squishy. Now let's take a look at the fabric items that Ken comes with. Ken has this white cotton t-shirt. That's more of a jersey. Probably a blend. There's some slight stretch to it. And these cute Bermuda shorts. He has this groom coat. Now the collar isn't hemmed, so it's prone to fraying. The part on the inside is sewn onto the jacket and it doesn't have sleeves, and the sleeves, as well as the color of the part inside, isn't hemmed either and it velcros in the front. To complete the look, he also has these black satin trousers that velcro in the back. And the statement piece that got everybody excited is this purple pleather jacket that he's wearing. And this pleather has sort of like a snake or crocodile texture to it. Another cute basic is this long sleeve shirt that mimics the look of a button up and velcros in the front. And the color of this shirt on the top isn't hemmed. And at the back, you can see that it's already starting to fray. To complete that look, he also has a pair of blue pants that velcro in the back. The only plastic accessories that Ken gets are shoes. He has purple sandals with a Ken written on the bottom. 
pair of simple white sneakers made of very thin plastic and another pair of black shoes for his formal attire. And my favorite part of these huge sets is always the pile that gets created after freeing every clothing item from its box and seeing the mountain of opportunities for redressing, mixing, as well as matching. Now let's take a quick look at all of Ken's looks next to one another. Now let's take a quick look at all of Barbie's outfits next to one another. And as an added bonus, let's take a look at how some of the can pieces would fit on a Barbie. This is very cute and uh, she's wearing her boyfriend's oversized shirt kind of look. And again, in an oversized boyfriend jacket kind of way, she can also wear the purple pleather one. So, what is my final verdict? All in all, I think this is a cute playset for if you want to give it to your kid and the kid can spend hours upon hours mixing and matching different looks. I do believe that the quality on the construction and the fabric quality could be better, but I am happy that the designers have started to more simplify their designs and not throw any old pattern and clashing colors onto the designs of the dresses and the designs of the fashion pieces. I think simplicity is key and I'm more of a fan of having basics than having gaudy and tacky and outlandish designs and prints on bobby pieces that are just an eyesore. So when it comes to that, this set is a win but there's still some breathing room left. I'm not sure if I would say that it's totally worth the $49.99 price tag. As I had said, the fabric quality and the construction of the pieces does leave a lot to be desired. But all in all, I'm satisfied with my purchase. Now it's your turn. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the set also let me know what's your favorite fashion piece and I might be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.